In terms of the cheese making, little's changed. Sarah and I have gone back a, a little bit and there's certain things we are still doing to try and creep back a little bit, but the cheese making itself has not changed much from Grandma's time. It's more the milk as much as anything uh, and the, the style of farming. I think over the years we crept to, a, to an intensive system and then having sat back and looked at it, couldn't understand why we, how we got there uh, and now to come back to this farm and uh, put it all back to grass has been wonderful. I'm Paul Appleby and my wife and I, Sarah and me, we, we run the farm, cheese making. It's traditional Cheshire cheese, raw milk, cloth bound. As far as unpasteurised, grass based family farm, we are yeah, about the last now. Cheshire, Cheshire cheese. So Cheshire cheese was the cheese. It wasn't cheddar, it was Cheshire. It really fed the nation. And its history is really, really fascinating. So it goes right back into the Roman times. There's a theory it's mentioned in the Doomsday Book. Um, I don't have a Doomsday Book to look at, but it's, it's got a massively interesting history. A lot about farming depends on outside influences. Uh, apart from the weather and everything else that goes on, it's economics, uh, it's government. So without being particularly boring, we really don't know. We have to do what we, what we believe in and what we want to do as much as we can within the remit we're given. I think it would be tragic if we no longer had the, the knowledge share from generation to generation, not just within a, a linear family line, but within, you know, new people coming in and saying, actually, I really want to learn to make Cheshire. And we, we have visits from colleges, uh, schools, young farmers, and just saying, you know, actually making, making cheese is really cool. It is, it is something that's exciting, and you don't have to be massive scale. It's hard work, but the children live out in the open. They've got plenty of space. It's a great place to grow up. I love the animals. And the cheese and the customers, we, we're not just farmers. We get to see people and we get to see how they feel when they taste our cheese and, and, and get to tell them the whole story. And I think the fact that we can tell the whole story is really important to us, certainly to Sarah and I. It's, yeah, we, we're proud of what we do with the land and how we look after it. We're proud of how we make the cheese and, uh, and hopefully the environment that people work in here. And, and yes, to, to see how people react to it and, and enjoy it is, is worth everything to us. And, and you know, hopefully we can, can keep it going as long as possible.